Hey guys, it's Tesla here, back with another tutorial. So in this one, we're quickly going to look at how to create some water that we can swim in. So we'll drag out a box, we'll move this up, we'll scale it so it touches the ground, and we're going to copy this now, and we're going to paste it because we want to make a little hole in here, so we're going to change the brush type to subtractive, and we'll just scale these in so we have a hole and so we can see the bottom right there. And now we want to go to volumes, physic volume, we'll drag this out, make this kind of just fit the square, turn that see up, drag it down. Now we have some settings on the side, character movement right here, and we want to click water volume and physics on contact. Now what that will do is, once we um, once our character touches the water, enters the volume, it's already going to make us seem like we're swimming. So, and we want to turn up fluid friction, which is going to cause us to slow down in the water. So let's jump in now. And now we can, as you can see, we can go up. Now we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it. We'll scroll down and we'll go to the actor tab and convert this to a post process volume. And we'll, we'll go to the scene color tab and turn these three on. I'm going to change this color to a bit of a blue. And what this is going to do is it's going to create um, a bit of a visual effect like we're underwater slightly. I'll make this really kind of a bit more bluey. So we've got a little bit of effect going on there. And the last thing we want to do is put some water on top. So we're going to just grab another box here. I'm going to scale this. Really, really make it as thin as possible. And I've already got a water material applied to it for some reason. So let's just move that there. And now under the brush settings, have this little tab, we can click this here and we'll create a static mesh. And I'm just going to call it my mesh one. And we hit, you hit enter, and then you'll get some really disturbing messages here. But we can change that by double click, clicking on the static mesh, or we'll scroll down, go to the light map resolution, and change that to four. And now our material is back. But let's open that up again and disable cast shadow and enable collision so now, so now when we jump in this we're going to have the effect that we're swimming now you can add your own sound effect so it sounds like you're underwater and also there's one thing I've noticed because I don't know if this is the proper way you can create swimming volumes there might be a much better way so please point that out if there is and then I can update my tutorial But if we touch the, the floor, you'll notice you can't move forwards anymore, sideways or backwards. You have to either look up or down, and go backwards or forwards to raise yourself a bit, and then you can start swimming about. When you touch the floor, you can't do it anymore, and I'm not sure why. Okay guys, thanks for checking this out. Make sure you stay subscribed for future tutorials. Thanks very much.